What's up, everybody? I know the light's coming down on me here. So, this is a big collection update for the month of April. How is everybody doing? So, yes, we have new releases to start off with first. We have the Blu-ray Digital Code Combo Pack of I Want to Dance with Somebody, which this pisses me off because the studio... Um, I saw this in theaters. I actually saw it twice. Um, the first time I saw it, I was really tired. I ended up falling asleep and missing a good 45 minutes of the movie. So I went back a couple days later and I went and saw it again. But um, it was called I Want to Dance with Somebody. And now for whatever reason, they released it to home video as Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. So I said, okay, that's weird, but I'm still going to put it under I. Come to find out that Sony actually edited the title screen of the film from I Want to Dance with Somebody to Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. The title screen that you see on here is not what it was in theaters, and I really hate that they did that. Um, regardless, this is a really good movie. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought, what's her name? Naomi, Naomi Ackle? Is that how you pronounce it? Naomi Ackie? She did a really great job as Whitney Houston. Um, the special features on here are really cool. I really like this. I know it didn't do very well in theaters, but I still really liked it. Then we have the Blu-ray DVD Digital Code Combo Pack Collector's Edition of Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. This is the Target exclusive. This comes with the, um, the art book which I wanted because this movie, if you have not seen it, it is gorgeous as hell. There's little Perito. Um, it is just, it's a fantastic movie, too. It, it's really good. And you know what the weird thing is? I have not seen the first one. That's the only one of, like, the Shrek movies that I haven't seen. This, though, is really great. Highly recommend that one. Uh, then I picked up Christmas Bloody Christmas. This is a really entertaining movie. Um, lots of F-words. 417 in 87 minutes. That's a lot. But it's a really fun movie all about this, like, robotic Santa Claus that gets sent to this toy store. There's a recall issued on it because there's a bug in it. And, of course, it ends up coming to life and becoming a uh, killer Santa Claus. Nothing spectacular, but I did think it was a fun time, and I would recommend that if you're a horror holiday slasher fan. The Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of Women Talking. Really good movie. I enjoyed this when I saw this in theaters, and I enjoyed it again the second time around. Kind of a kick in the nuts that there's no special features, as I knocked over my Mike Wazowski. Um, but you know what? It's still a really good movie. Um, all about these women in this uh, colony that um, it's, it's very religious, it's very strict, uh, it's, it's an Amish community, basically. And um, they, one of them gets sexually assaulted and they have to, they sit around and it basically it's one big meeting and they have to figure out if they're gonna stay and fight or if they're gonna run to another colony. Um, really, really good movie. I, I really enjoyed that both times I've seen it. Then we have the Blu-ray digital code combo pack of A Man Called Otto, or as I like to call it, Forrest Grump. Uh, this is a really great movie. Saw this in theaters as well. Um, I kind of like how Tom Hanks is sort of going back into the realm of comedies with this movie, because when he was starting out, he was like just in, into comedies. He was in The Money Pit, Dragnet, The Burbs, um, <clears throat> Punchline, Turner and Hooch, all of that stuff. And then once he like hit it big with movies like Philadelphia and Forrest Gump, he became like this ultra big A-list um, Oscar star. Um, but you know what? He needs to do comedies every now and then. And uh, this is kind of a, a dark comedy, but it's still really good. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Then we have The Locksmith on Blu-ray. This was a pretty decent movie. Ryan Philippe is this uh, guy, he gets out of prison after being caught in a robbery. Uh, he's getting uh, ragged on by this crooked cop, and basically the movie revolves around like stolen money and who took it. They think it's him, he insists it's not. It's a pretty decent movie. It, it's not the best in the world, but you know, I'm an action thriller junkie and, and I gotta see most of what I can, and, and I thought that was pretty good for what it was. 
Then we have the Blu-ray digital code combo pack of The Whale, starring Oscar winner Brendan Fraser. I literally, I watched the last hour of the Oscar cast live, mainly because I wanted to see who was going to get hit. And, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's not funny. Uh, I was literally on pins and needles. I said, please let him win. Please let him win. And when he won, it was the first time I ever just screamed out, yes, I can't believe it. He won, and he was so grateful. I'm so happy. This movie is really good. A lot of people, well, I really like it. A lot of people are very mixed with this, and I completely understand why. Me, I really liked it. I thought it was a really great movie, and Brendan Fraser, oh my goodness, I'm so happy that he's finally back in the public eye and getting the, the recognition that he so rightly deserves. Then we have the Blu-ray digital code combo pack of Babylon. This was also a pretty big flop in theaters. Um, I think for a lot of people, the running time uh, put them off of seeing this, which I completely understand. The movie's well over three hours, but this is fantastic. This was my pick of the uh, second best film of last year behind Marcel the Shell. Um, this is all about, like, this is a big dramatic comedy about, like, the debauchery and, and stuff like that. It's basically a hard R-rated version of Singing in the Rain, which Singing in the Rain, I'm going to tell you now, one of the greatest old Hollywood movies ever made. Fantastic movie. This is the hard R version of Singing in the Rain. Um, but this is a great movie. Highly recommend it. Very funny, too. Tobey Maguire is in this for about ten minutes, and he, there he is. He steals the show. I can't, I can't repeat what he says about Wyatt Earp, but that is the funniest part in the whole movie. Then also from Shudder, we have the Blu-ray of Glorious. This wasn't too bad. Uh, this could have been a lot better. This is Ryan Quantin and J.K. Simmons. Ryan Quantin is this guy. He uh, stops at a rest stop to use the bathroom, only to find out after a, like a coke, like a drug and alcohol bender. Only to f He falls asleep in the bathroom and he wakes up. He can't leave the bathroom. It's a public bathroom. There's a guy in the next stall that keeps talking to him. That guy is J.K. Simmons. You never see J.K. Simmons in the movie. You only hear him. And uh, there's a glory hole in between the, uh, the, uh, the stalls. And you find out pretty early on, this is not a spoiler, that J.K. Simmons is voicing this, like, demon, this monster... And he won't let Ryan Quantin out of the bathroom until a certain thing is fulfilled. And it's a very weird movie, but I don't know. It, it could have been better. I, I could have liked this a lot more. It was just really bizarre. I did enjoy it while it was on, though. And I would recommend it, at least for a one-time watch. And then the last of the new releases, we have the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of Megan. This was, unfortunately, the last film I saw at the uh, Great Northern Regal before that shut down a couple weeks later. Uh, the first movie I ever saw there was American Hustle. Last movie was Megan, so kind of sad. But uh, I loved this movie when I saw it, and I watched the unrated cut. Um, the unrated cut is the R-rated version of the movie. Uh, instead of one F-bomb, there are 11. Yes, Megan does have one of them. Most of them are from um, Allison Williams's boss in the movie. But other than that, other than some alternate dialogue to use those cuss words, the only other difference in the unrated version is that the violence is more prominent. Uh, if, you, if you've seen the movie, in the third act especially, the violence is pretty hardcore. Other than that, there's no added scenes. The runtime for both versions are an hour and 42 minutes. But still, I love this movie so much. It came in, it said, this is what the hell I am, this is what I'm going to do, you can take it or leave it, and I absolutely love This is still uh, one of the best movies I've seen so far this year. I absolutely love this movie. I, I cannot recommend this enough. A little light on the special features, to be honest, but still, I love this. I cannot wait for Megan 2.0 in 2025. Yeah. All right, so these are the rest of the Blu-rays. So I did pick up a Lionsgate Steelbook. I normally don't pick them up because I'm not a big Steelbook collector, number one. And number two, they're mostly 4K. But I picked this up because I realized that, number one, it was Blu-ray only. It wasn't 4K. Probably because this is a movie that was shot with, like, a lot of grainy footage. So if you upgrade it to 4K, it's probably going to look like shit. Although it is on 4K. 
now that I'm saying it out loud. I, this is on 4K as part of the trilogy box set. But also because what enticed me to pick this up is that there's a second disc that comes with more special features, which is awesome. And that is the Blu-ray Digital Code Combo Pack 20th Anniversary of House of 1000 Corpses. This is awesome. Um, this is the Steelbook. Look at that. That is pretty gorgeous. Now, the sequel to this, The Devil's Rejects, is my all-time favorite horror movie. I love it, but these are the discs. Um, one of them is the movie with special features, and then the other one is the new special features. And look at that artwork. Rest in peace, Sid Haig. All those clowns look like asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a great movie, and they they did have like a standard edition, but it's in a box set with art cards, and it's like fifteen dollars more. No, this was the cheaper option, and and I'm glad I got it. Then I picked this up because I was tired of not having it. I'm tired of not uh, of saying that I haven't seen. I haven't seen this. This is the director's cut of Little Shop of Horrors, the digi book. Uh, yeah, never seen this. Gonna watch it this year, though, definitely. Then from uh, Savers, actually pull all of the Savers stuff aside, because I found some pretty great stuff at Savers. Um, yeah, that's Savers. Sorry, guys, hold on. Okay, so one of the things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all of Al Pacino's movies to uh, Marathon because I want to do that. Unfortunately, I am only missing a couple, but those are like out of print and they're super expensive and I don't want to spend that obscene amount of money on them. Um, so... I'll just get them from the library. But we do have the following. We have the Blu-ray digital copy combo pack of Dick Tracy. Never seen it. Looking forward to watching that, though. The Blu-ray digital code combo pack digital of uh, Hangman. It's not in there. Just the disc, which is why I bought it. Uh, the Blu-ray ultraviolet digital copy. Uh, again, it's not in there. Of uh, Stand Up Guys. Manglehorn, just the standard Blu-ray. And then this I've seen. It's not really a good movie, but I'm willing to watch it again. Uh, again, the digital code isn't in there, but it's the Blu-ray digital HD combo pack of Misconduct. Which leads me into, I'm trying to get the rest of Adam Sandler's physical media movies. I'm only a handful short. They were in a movie together. Jack and Jill, Blu-ray DVD combo pack. This movie isn't awful. I didn't hate it as a lot of other people did. I know. Um, I probably lost a lot of subscribers over that, but hey, it's fine. Uh, the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet combo of Hotel Transylvania. Really good. Need to get the other two that are, have been released physically. The fourth one hasn't been, and I'm kind of okay with that because he's not in the fourth one, and the fourth one was just, eh. That's My Boy, which is awful from what I remember. Um, and uh, Blended. Uh, all right. Then... trying hard to remember yes okay so this i picked up from best buy this is vhs 94 um need all of them on blu-ray <laughs> but i've heard this one's really good and it's packed with features does this have alternate artwork yes it does look at that i remember flipping the artwork around casa de mi padre a parody movie of like telenovelas rv this i got from dollar tree this is an upgrade uh from dvd Pretty, pretty fun movie. I remember watching that a few times when I was younger. Uh, Extract. Never seen it. Always wanted to see it. Uh, Here Are the Young Men. Found this at a uh, Volunteers of America. This didn't come to Blu-ray through stores. Somebody ordered it, and I guess they didn't want, uh, like it, so it's here. But I've wanted to see this for a little while. It's got Anya Taylor-Joy in it. Hello. She's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Adam Sandler, I don't know why this wasn't with those. The Blu-ray DVD combo pack of The Cobbler. I remember this being not too great, but it is what it is. Uh, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Hotel for Dogs. Never seen this, and it came out around the time that I would have watched this. It's got Emma Roberts in it. I love Emma Roberts. Uh, and then the Blu-ray digital HD ultraviolet combo pack of Blood Ties. I've seen this. This is a really good movie. Really underrated. Uh, this is all the stuff I found from Savers. Uh, I'll save the really good stuff for last. Uh, we have Nim's Island. Again, never seen it. 
Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. I have seen this. I actually saw this in theaters. Really, really good movie. Uh, the Blu-ray, this is in here, the Blu-ray Digital HD Combo Pack of The Transporter Refueled. I keep forgetting that this movie exists. Um, as soon as I found it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right, I do need this. <laughs> um, because I have the other ones. I saw this in theaters, and I liked it. It's weird. <laughs> um, Overboard, upgrade from VHS, DVD, whatever have you. Uh, this is a good movie. The remake's pretty decent, too, but I, I like this one better. This one's a good one. Winter's Bone. Uh, this, I actually have to pop in and check and see if it's region-free. Um, I don't know if it is or not. Sometimes my player will, um, will play those. Uh, Bugsy Malone. This is the one with Scott Bio and Jodie Foster. The Uninvited. Pink Floyd, The Story of Wish You Were Here. Spoiler alert, there's a few more Pink Floyds in here. Uh, the Director's Cut of The Warriors, I've never seen that. And then the best ones, we have the Blu-ray Digital Code Combo Pack of Rosemary's Baby. Now this is awesome because I got this from the exact same savers where I was going to get the DVD from a few months ago, but I put the DVD back because it was all scratched up. This is Blu-ray, it still has the code in it, it's minty fresh. I've never seen this too, by the way, so that's awesome. And then another 4K, uh, the 4K Blu-ray digital code combo pack of The Greatest Showman. I love this movie to death. So there you go. So that's it for the Blu-rays. Now normally I would move on to another like niche thing, but I have two huge piles of DVDs in front of me that are going to fall over if I don't address them ASAP. So we're going to do exactly that right now. This is just the start of it. <laughs> All right, let me move out of the way these things so you guys can see what the hell it is I'm actually talking about. There we go. Okay, so yeah, there we go. There we go. We're making progress. Okay, so let me get through these as quick as possible. We have. Coneheads, never seen it. Uh, Woodstock 99. Uh, this has James Brown, Jamiroquai, Cheryl Crow, uh, DMX on here, Stop Being Greedy, Insane Clown Posse, Corn, um, Kid Rock. Kid Rock's a douchebag, even before the whole Bud Light thing. He, he just sucks. He doesn't make good music. Uh, oh, Dave Matthews Band. I'm not a big fan of Dave Matthews Band. Alanis Morissette, Limp Bizkit. Metallica, uh, Creed, Seven Dust, Megadeth, and then Red Hot Chili Peppers. What pisses me off is that they don't have Ice Cube on here. Ice Cube was at Woodstock 99. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll have to contact them and make a complaint. Blubberella, this is an Uwe Boll movie. From what I read, it's supposed to be like a remake of Blood Rain 3. Hoop Dreams, the Criterion Collection. Uh, upgrade from VHS, Thoroughly Modern Millie, The Sure Thing, With Honors, Vanilla Sky, I think I might already have this, I need to start going through and see if I'm double dipping or not, The Good Student, with Hayden Penetier, Apocalypto, this is kind of hard to find on uh, DVD or Blu-ray, so pick that up, Amos and Andrew, that's a Nicolas Cage that I needed, uh, Shoot to Kill, Scooby-Doo, The Mystery Begins. State Property 2, I don't have the first one, but why not? Good Morning, Vietnam. Yes, The Island of Dr. Moreau, uh, the unrated director's cut. Look up the making of this movie. It's fascinatingly uh, wild. It just came a little loose. That's okay. Beastly, I've heard this movie's terrible, but what, what can you do? Uh, then an upgrade, Practical Magic. Robin Hood, never seen Robin Hood. Uh, this is Oh, What a Lovely War. This is, uh, this I picked up from Dollar Tree. I didn't even realize that I needed it until I looked a little closer at it. This is a sequel. This is Rise of the Foot Soldier, The Heist. So, Andre, The Convent, 
Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Twice Upon a Christmas. Reality Bites. The Jungle Book. I think I've seen this. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I have. The Village. Finally found a copy in frickin' widescreen that was uh, in decent enough shape. Ocean's 12. Uh, Hip Hop Task Force. <laughs> This is awesome. This is the Mummy Legacy Collection, so now I just need the Creature from the Black Lagoon and the Invisible Man. This comes with the Mummy, the Mummy's Hand, the Mummy's Tomb, the Mummy's Ghost, and the Mummy's Curse. A curse? Excuse me, I can talk. Triple feature of Down to Earth, Head of State, and Pootie Tang. Uh, four film favorites, Holiday Collection. This comes with Fred Claus, which is decent. Just Friends, which is pretty good. Unaccompanied Minors, which I watched uh, a lot. I, I like that one a lot. And then National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2, Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure, which is pretty bad. I've seen that twice. Both times was too much. Uh, Rover's Morning Glory, Miss Morning Glory Calendar Search 2011. So I found both of them that they've done now. Uh, really, really interesting. Little Ghost. Uh, Abandoned with Brittany Murphy. Love Brittany Murphy. I hated it when she passed away. Silent Hill, again, finally found a copy in widescreen. Nine and a half weeks. The WWE Hall of Fame 2004 induction ceremony. The Avengers, this is the one with Ray Fiennes and Uma Thurman. Urban Legends, the uh, complete first season. The Extreme Adventures of Super Dave. Confidence. We have a four-movie uh, four marathon romantic comedy collection. This comes with Kissing a Fool, Heart and Souls, which I already have, The Matchmaker, and Playing for Keeps. Hollywood Streets of Gold. This is a five-documentary set. This comes with Hollow, uh, Hollywood the Golden Years, excuse me, The Legend of Marilyn Monroe, Hollywood the Gift of Laughter, Hollywood the Great Stars, and Hollywood the Selznick Years. Twelve. Career Opportunities. Tootsie, I've never seen that. I've heard it's really good, though. Uh, Not Quite Hollywood, The Wild Untold Story of Oz po uh, Ploitation. Love this documentary. It's a fantastic documentary. Highly recommend that. Joe vs. the Volcano with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Uh, two of the best movies ever made, Tooth Fairy and Tooth Fairy 2. Just One of the Guys. This is awesome. Best of Season 1, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I grew up on that show. The Foot Fist Way. Saved by the Bell Double Feature. Uh, Wedding in Las Vegas and Hawaiian Style. Not a big fan of the show, but I do love me Elizabeth Berkley. Internet Dating with Cat Williams. Uh, Master P is also in this. Uh, na 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 na. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This I've been wanting to see. <laughs> Bella. This is, um... Am I wrong? Isn't this direct? No, this is not directed by uh, Inyaratu. Alright, I thought I was... Okay. The, the Seamstress with Lance Henriksen. Uh, Night Train with Steve Zahn. I love Steve Zahn. This, unfortunately, doesn't work. It was a dollar. Uh, I need a region-free player, but this is Doberman which uh, that cover looked really cool. I think my HD DVD player, I think that's region free, so I can, I, you know what, I'll test that out. Pulse, this is not the original, this is not the remake. This has nothing to do with either of them. This is a movie from 1988. This has Cliff D. Young, Roxanne Hart, and Joey Lawrence. So this is not at all connected with, with the Kristen Bell movie or the Japanese one. So I have three movies named Pulse now. Project Greenlight, Stolen Summer, the movie. Still crazy. Young Guns 2, have the first one, so glad to have the second. The Secret of Nim 1 and 2. Uh, Flavor Flav's Night Tales, Dead Tone. Tumbleweeds, an upgrade from the VHS I bought last month. A Pyromaniac's Love Story. 305, get it? It's a parody of 300. Ha ha ha. Windy City Heat. Oh, Lord. Street Fighter. Uh, Assassin's Fist. 
Problem Child and Problem Child 2. Uh, the Unbearable Lightness of Being. Brewster's Millions. Uh, four film favorites, Critters with Character Collection. I got this for Cats and Dogs because Cats and Dogs, every time I find that on its own, it's in full screen. I, and I know it's in widescreen. This is in widescreen. I like Cats and Dogs. I also like Happy Feet. But this also comes with Happy Feet 2 and uh, Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. I remember Kitty Galore being okay. I've never seen Happy Feet 2. Alice in Wonderland. This is the three-hour ABC miniseries event of it. Uh, now on to more Pacino. So we have Bobby Deerfield, uh, which, in, which not only comes with an exclusive sneak peek for his movie, 88 Minutes, but also comes with... You remember when they gave out movie ticket money? That's cool. Madonna, Truth or Dare, he is in this. And Justice for All. Frankie and Johnny. You Don't Know Jack. Uh, these three came in like a set, but they were all there by themselves, which is fine. The Local Stigmatic. Chinese Coffee. Looking for Richard. Yeah, the rest of these are Pacino right here. We have Paterno. Two Bits, The Humbling, Simone, Ocean's 13, hence why Ocean's 12 is there. I, have, I had 11, and now I have the trilogy. The special edition of Dog Day Afternoon, so now I can actually sell. I'm actually going to go through some of the ones that I've been upgrading and start selling them um, of the single disc edition that I have. And The Merchant of Venice. Now I'm going to push those back. So I can get the other ones in. Casanova. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Uh, I got the feeling. James Brown in the 60s. This is a three-disc set from Shout Factory. The Night James Brown Saved Boston. James Brown Live at the Boston Garden, April 5th, 1968. And James Brown Live at the Apollo, 68. Another box set. Uh, Barbara Streisand box set. The Mirror Has Two Faces. The Prince of Tides and The Way We Were. Prince of Tides. Eyes of Laura Mars. Eight Men Out. Anastasia. This also comes with Bartok the Magnificent. This is a British film collection. This comes with Restoration, The Inheritance, um, Her Majesty Mrs. Brown, Becoming Jane, Jane Eyre, and Brideshead Revisited. The Snowman and Father Christmas double feature. Little Women, this is the one from 2018. I saw this in theaters. Um, I actually, I, I'm kind of a little upset that this doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. It kind of got lost in the field because the next year Greta Gerwig came out with her version. Um, I actually like this a little bit better, which is really bizarre considering that this is from a religious company. Um, I don't know. I just really liked it. I thought it was sweet. Sue me. I don't give a shit. Pink Floyd, classic albums, The Making of the Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, Paul Newman and Nobody's Fool. This also has Bruce Willis in it. That's how I've seen this. This is a really good movie. Highly recommend that. Love, Liza. This is a movie where Philip Seymour Hoffman huffs gas. Four movie set, Suicide Kings, Made, The Limey, and The Cooler. So that copy of The Cooler that I have, um, that's probably just going to get sold. Yeah, that's an crisp condition. Blackout. Uh, Noah's Ark, Jumping the Broom, just looked pretty interesting. John Cena, My Life, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Deep Impact, never seen it. Pokemon, the first movie. I don't remember watching, I remember watching this, but I don't remember the, uh, the moments. There's so many freaking Pokemon movies. Double Dragon, upgrade from VHS. Air America, Where Eagles Dare, Lost in Space, The Bounty, Battle Warrior, some Tony Ja, uh, The Name of the Rose, Fried Green Tomatoes, Seasons 1 and 2 of The Muppet Show, Bullets Over Broadway, this is an upgrade from uh, VHS. Uh, Little Nicky, I like this. The soundtrack's great, though. It's got some great stuff on there. 
Red Cherry. Beyond the Stars, this comes with Assignment to Outer Space, Destroy All Planets, Teenagers from Outer Space, and the Phantom Planet. Why they have a woman dressed up as one of the Cyclos from Battlefield Earth is beyond me, but that's what they chose to do. Princess Mononoke. Witness to the Mob. The Medallion. Tank. <laughs> Midway, the original, the, the newer one with like all those people. It wasn't very good. Kelly's Heroes. Uh, Objective Burma. Double feature of Starman and Jagged Edge. So that Starman that I have is probably going to get sold too. Another Tony Ja here with Spirited Killer. Eye for an Eye. I actually pulled this out and watched this. Uh, not a bad movie. Really good. I've been wanting to see it. It was an upgrade from VHS. Um, pretty disturbing and a little exploitative at times, but uh, really good. Kiefer Sutherland's great in that. Alvin and the Chipmunks go to the movies. Funny, we shrunk the adults. This also comes with Back to Our Future, which is an upgrade from uh, the VHS that I got, and uh, Bigger. Eloise at the Plaza. Pooh's Heffalump movie. Starting over with Burt Reynolds. I can whistle. And Candace Bergen. I actually saw Book Club the next chapter today at a sneak preview. Fun movie. If you liked the first one, you'll like the second one. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Killing Me Softly, the unrated cut. Uh, Studio Classics, four movie set. This comes with Francis of Assisi, The Gospel Road, uh, The Song of Bernadette. Those are the reasons why I got this. And A Man Called Peter, The Gospel Road, especially because it's got Johnny Cash in it. This, I think I have. This is City Hall. Same thing here. I think I have The Wiz. So if I do, those, those will just get sold. That's fine. Fine by me. This is Detroit Red Wings, a uh, celebration of champions. I like looking at sports stuff like this, even though I'm not heavy into sports. Uh, Midnight Madness. This is the TV remake of Dirty Dancing, which is not very good at all, but I got it because I have the original and then um, Havana Nights. Pink Floyd The Wall. Never seen this. I think I should see it. What do you guys think? Should I see it? Uh, Elvis the miniseries in that velvety cover. Um... Who plays all this in this? Jonathan Reese Myers. This is not the one that John Carpenter did. This also has Randy Quaid, Robert Patrick, and Rose McGowan. Oh, and Cameron Mannheim. Who directed this? So this came out in 2006. Who, who the hell directed this? Doesn't say. That'd be really helpful if they said who directed the effing thing. Oh, chapter selections. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Fly Away Home, St. Elmo's Fire, 1900, which is one of the longest cinematic films ever made at 5 hours and 17 minutes. The Director's Cut of Ali, really good movie. The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, this 12-movie set, Tormented Souls. This comes with Unhinged, The Harvesters, Die Hard Dracula, uh, Girls' Night Out, Kathy's Curse, Good Against Evil, God Told Me To, The Ghost, Dominique is Dead, Death at Love House, The Invisible Ghost, and Carnival of Souls. And then buckle up, we have a 50-movie horror pack from Mill Creek. This comes with... Carnival of Souls, Adam H. Vampire, Creature from the Haunted Sea, Nightmare Castle, Black Dragons, The Invisible Ghost, One Body Too Many, White Zombie, Attack of the Giant Leeches, The Screaming Skull, Beast of Yucca Flats, The Terror, Revolt of the Zombies, The Giant Gila Monster, The Fatal Hour, Dead Men Walk, The Mad Monster, Maniac, Metropolis, The Vampire Bat, The Ape, The Monster Maker, The Killer Shrews, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, King of the Zombies. <gasps> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Bluebeard, The Corpse Vanishes, Night of the Living Dead, Doomed to Die, The Phantom of the Opera, The Indestructible Man, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Nosferatu, Swamp Women, The World Gone Mad, The Little Shop of Horrors, Tormented, The Monster Walks, Monster from a Prehistoric Planet, The Gorilla, A Shriek in the Night, Bloodlust, The Amazing Mr. X, Last Woman on Earth, The Bat, The House on Haunted Hill, The Last Man on Earth, Dementia 13, and Phantom from 10,000 Leagues. Some of those I have seen. Especially Nosferatu. Nosferatu's great. It's classic. Those are the DVDs. We're going to get into the VHS now. What say you? I think we should.
And if you don't think so, then you can get the F-U-C hell out of my channel. <laughs> Uh, Live in Large, one of the best pop comedies of the season. True Colors with John Cusack and James Spader. Uh, uh, Blue in the Face, this is a companion movie to uh, Smoke. This has Harvey Keitel, Giancarlo Esposito, Michael J. Fox. Um, Madonna, I believe, is in this, isn't she? I have no clue. <laughs> uh, fatherhood. It's 1964. What if Hitler had won the war? Um, this is a TV movie because it was a Golden Globe winner. It's an HBO movie. This has Rutger Hauer and Miranda Richardson. I'm always into kind of like weird stuff like that. Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within got that for collecting purposes. Lost in Yonkers uh, with Richard Dreyfuss. Look at this cover art, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Oh, look at that. The Pickle with Danny Aiello. This is a promotional copy, a screener copy. LAPD, To Protect and Serve with Michael Madsen and Dennis Hopper. LA's finest have just crossed the line between cop and criminal. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I like shit like that. Uh, for collecting purposes, Ghosts of Mars. I watched this uh, a few months ago when I was doing my Ice Cube Marathon. It's not bad. It's definitely the weakest of Carpenter's movies that I've seen so far. Um, Sing-along songs, Disneyland fun. I had this when I was younger, got rid of it, now I got it back. This I have. This I bought without thinking, so I'm probably going to sell it. This is The Muppet Baby's Time to Play. Combat Academy, I'm so happy. This is not available on DVD awesome so to find a physical copy of this i was over the moon for this has keith gordon jamie farr sherman hemsley bernie koppel richard mall and john ratzenberger uh from the man who brought you police academy and bachelor party this is awesome i'm probably gonna watch this soon body count with david caruso ving rames linda fiorentino john linguizamo donnie Wahlberg, and forrest whitaker it was a simple, it's never simple, it was a simple $15 million art heist until she walked into the picture. Ooh! <laughs> Look at Leguizamo, he looks like a flippin' nut in that. I can't wait to watch this. Mindstorm. Uh, what, was, what once was hidden now is set free. Jesus, look at the novel on the back. Amityville 2, The Possession, I think, yeah, this unfortunately has a tiny bit of mold on it, but I can always get in there and clean that off. This is awesome. Nighthawks, for collecting purposes, look at that artwork. The Fearless Vampire Killers. This is The Legend of the Lone Ranger. Addict, with Robert De Niro and George Seagal. Prehysteria, yes, I've been looking for these movies. Uh, now I just need to find two and three. This actually, Austin I know is watching. This is, yeah, Charles Band directed this with Albert Band, because uh, Austin actually works for Full Moon now, so I'm very happy for him. So Austin, if I give this to you, can you get Charles Band to sign me my VHS of Prehysteria? He'd probably do it. He'd be like, oh, I did that. <laughs> Judas Kiss. With Gil Bellows, Carla Gugino, Alan Rickman, Till Schweiger, and Emma Thompson. Four million dollars, the hard way, and the big easy. Hell yeah. Blood Fist, look at that. Look at that. With Don the Dragon Wilson and Billy Blanks. Freddy vs. Jason, I've been looking for this forever for collecting purposes. The Ice Pirates, look at that artwork, dude. This I have, but this is awesome. This is Tough Guys Don't Dance. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Also, for collecting purposes, Valentine. Great movie. Great soundtrack. Uh, this is for collecting purposes because um, it does have a little bit of mold on it. Um, but it also, I have it on DVD. This is Gimme Shelter. The City with Don Johnson and Robert Forster and Mark Hamill. A psychotic killer is on the loose, and his prey is on the run. 
aren't they always? 1976, so that was before Miami Vice. So I have Capone with Sylvester Stallone. Stallone Capone. I have Capone with Tom Hardy. This is another one. Didn't know this one existed. This is with Keith Carradine and Ray Sharkey. Ray Sharkey passed away in 93 after he did Cop and a Half. He was the villain in Cop and a Half. I like Cop and a Half. Those who don't like Cop and a Half and are criticizing me for my opinion on Cop and a Half can suck a dick. <laughs> this is, uh, this is great. I love this. This is a screener copy. Uh, The Dive. A gut-wrenching thriller. Danger goes to new depths. You better hold your breath. Suburban Commando. I've never seen that. I wanted to see it for a little while. Event Horizon, also for collecting purposes. Does this do a little thing? Yeah, it does do a little thing if you look at it hard enough. It's also green. Great movie, by the way. Watch this last year for the Halloween Horathon. Great, great movie. Uh, Clarence. The Angel from It's a Wonderful Life is back. Never heard of this, but something told me I needed to grab it. Scanners 2, The New Order. Awesome. Cannot wait to watch that. I do have the first one. License to Drive. The Deep. Bad Lieutenant for collecting purposes, because when do you see NC-17 rated movies on VHS? Kind of a bizarre movie. This and the Nick Cage Bad Lieutenant are all over the place. Uh, An Innocent Man with Tom Selleck. This, I think I also have. This is Muppet Baby's video storybook. I think it's the same three stories, so I might have this. I'm not sure. The Hit List. Assassin, Bodyguard, Lover. Is he next on the Hit List? Can't wait to watch that, too. I'm going to have, like, a cheesy movie marathon soon. Uh, the RM from the guys who made The Singles Ward. Uh, yeah, this is a Christian movie, I think. Uh, Jared Phelps, a recently returned LDS missionary. Picking up where he left off two years earlier, he's anxious to reunite with his family, return to his old job, and reacquaint himself with his longtime girlfriend. Confident that he will be blessed for his faithful service, Jared soon finds his life turned upside down. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then finally, Solar Crisis. Uh, who does this have in it? Peter Boyle, Charlton Heston... Jack Palance. It's a pretty cool VHS haul that I got. Um, let's do some games, then we'll do CDs, and we'll cap this mother effer off with uh, books. So some games. Darksiders. Um, I, would this surprise me? This looked interesting. Um, I got it. I, I'm not big into fantasy games, but I played a little bit of it. It's not bad. I like it. This is an Xbox game which puzzles me because it came out in 2006 and there is no Xbox 360 version of this available, but it is backwards compatible. Played a little bit of it and it is great. Black, this is the first person shooter that has a little bit of a cult following. Uh, seen it, bright lights, big screen. I like popping those in every now and then. Infernal, Hell's Vengeance. I like this, but my problem is if you die and you got to restart, it's going or reset, it's going to reset you back a little too far, and that pisses me off. So I'm taking a break from this so I can recoup. And then Damnation, which is also pretty fun. I like that one. CDs. Let me move Mike Wazowski. Uh, <laughs> a lot of cool CDs. Um, I'm actually going to start off with the. Oh, shit. <laughs> with the non soundtracks, which are mixed in here. I don't know why. Uh, so we have Weird Al Yankovic, Running With Scissors, love that album. This has The Saga Begins, Pretty Fly for a Rabbi, Jerry Springer, may he rest in peace. It's All About the Pentiums, 10 by Pearl Jam, love this album. <laughs> Foo Fighters, one by one, Foo Fighters is a top five band for me. This has All My Life, um... Times like these, I love Foo Fighters. Rest in peace, Taylor. American Idiot by Green Day. This is kind of like the last of good Green Day stuff for me. Their last album that they released, Father of All Mother Effers, hey, I really didn't like that. That was really stupid. The Spaghetti Incident by Guns N' Roses. What does this have on it? I don't recognize any of these songs. <laughs> The Very Best of Prince, hell yeah. 
I Want to Be Your Lover, 1999, Little Red Corvette, When Doves Cry, Let's Go Crazy, Purple Rain, I Would Die For You, Raspberry Beret, Kiss, Sign of the Times, You Got the Look, Alphabet Street, Thieves in the Temple, Get Off, Cream, Diamonds and Pearls, and Money Don't Matter Tonight. And then one of the greatest rap albums, I, I, I love this, this is uh, Get Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. You say you a wankster, but you never pop nothing. I like that album a lot. Lots of soundtracks. We've got the soundtrack to Kingpin, Brain Scan, Roadhouse, the album for uh, the show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Basketball Diaries, Ella Enchanted, Colors, An American Werewolf in Paris. This is a horror soundtrack I've been looking for. Reality Bites, Sweet Home Alabama, Avril Lavigne's on it. That's supremely why I got it. Uh, this also has Jewel, Uncle Cracker, yeah. WWF The Music, this is Volume 3, Soundtrack to Cohen, uh, Cone Heads, excuse me, Special Edition Soundtrack to Pitch Perfect, Angus, Foolproof, American Wedding, which also has Avril Lavigne on it, it also has Foo Fighters, times like these. Good Charlotte with the Anthem, uh, Newfound Glory, Sum 41, All-American Rejects, um, Hot Action Cop with Fever for the Flavor. That was on like a lot of 2003 movies for some reason. Orange County, this also comes with a bonus CD with four extra tracks on it. Foo Fighters is on this as well the, uh, with the one. This I'm going to sell. I, I accidentally bought a double of this. This is Team America World Police. Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Threesome. 200 cigarettes. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Robots. <laughs> Chingy right there, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, also, I like that. Houston featuring Chingy, Nate Dogg, and I-20. Oh, yeah. I actually saw that in theaters. That was a very early theater experience for me, I will have you know. Bride and Prejudice, The Cutting Edge, both soundtracks to The Big Chill, Across the Universe, A Star is Born, Awesome. Hey, I just want to take another look at you. Awesome Mix Volume 1 for Guardians of the Galaxy. Great soundtrack. Uh, great movies, too. The third one was great. I love that one. Wicker Park. Spider-Man. Pretty decent soundtrack. I, I would say that uh, the, the hero song is pretty much it. <laughs> I am so high. I can hear heaven. Muppets Most Wanted. <laughs> and Frozen, the deluxe edition. Some books, and then I am getting my ass out of here. Been going for almost an hour. We have The Patriarch, uh, The Remarkable Life in Turbulent Times of Joseph P. Kennedy by David Nassau. I'm fascinated with the Kennedy family for some reason. The Night Listener by Armistead Mopin. Real Terror, The Scary, Bloody, Gory, Hundred Year History of Classic Horror Films by David uh, Canal. This is cool because I, I hear that this is getting turned into a movie. This is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I got this at Sabres. I did not get that at Target. The Tao of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff. I love Winnie the Pooh. The How of Pooh, the Tao of Who, the Tao of Pooh, in which it is revealed that one of the world's great Taoist masters isn't Chinese or a venerable philosopher. But it is, in fact, none other than the effort, that effortlessly calm, still reflective bearer A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. While Eeyore frets and Piglet hesitates and Rabbit calculates and Owl pontificates, Pooh just is. And that's a clue to the secret wisdom of the Taoists. That's awesome. Um, I, For those curious, I have not seen Blood and Honey yet. I have been told every which way but loose from everybody I know to either not see it or if I do see it, it's awful. Um, we'll see, but the Tao of Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. Duff McKagan. Uh, it's so easy and other lies. He was with Guns N' Roses, so that's true, correct? Yes. Didn't want to say something stupid. 
He wasn't with Guns N' Roses, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. We're going to save my true crimes for last. We have Baby Teeth by Zoja Stage. Nightmares and Dreamscapes by Stephen King. A lot of true crime this time around. All Our Yesterdays by Robert B. Parker. Sorry. Jeez, okay. Oh, I guess I have something wrong with me. What else is new? Uh, You're Something Special, Snoopy. I love these Peanuts collections. Uh, an Aaron Gunner mystery. All the lucky ones are dead and when last seen alive by Gar Anthony Haywood. Um, all the lucky ones. The synopsis starts with young gangster rap superstar C.E. Digga Jones. And I was like, well, I'm done. I'm sold. I, I don't need to know anything else. That's his name. That's what you're going to go with. Perfect. The movie novelization of Triple X. Blood Mem oh, that's by um, Mel Odom. Uh, Blood Memory by Greg Isles. This is a thick, meaty boy. <laughs> Gray Matter by Shirley uh, Kennett. George Mandel's The Breakwater. And then Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. And then we just have True Crimes, folks, and then we're done. Unanswered Cries by Thomas French. A true story of friends, neighbors, and murder in a small town. Eye of the Beholder by Lowell Caulfield. Black Klansman by Ron Stallworth. I love this movie. Um, Diane Fanning's Mommy's Little Girl. Casey Anthony and her daughter Kaylee's Tragic Fate. She should be rotting in prison right now. I hate her. Reasonable Doubt by Steve Vogel. A true story of lust and murder in the American heartland. Uh, Please Don't Kill Mommy. The true story of a man who killed his wife. So I guess he did it. Um, that's a very dark joke. Got Away With It and Then Killed Again by Fanny Weinstein and Ruth Schumann. Murder in the Heartland by M. William, uh, M. William Phelps. This is about that woman that killed that girl and then took the baby out of her womb. If you guys are familiar with that story. Uh, Lobster Boy, The Bizarre Life and Brutal Death of Grady Stiles Jr. by Fred Rosen. He was born with a birth defect. Sleep My Child Forever by John Costin, the riveting true story of a mother who murdered her own children. Uh, I don't understand. Why have kids if you're going to do that? To the Last Breath by Carlton Stowers. Little Renee died in her father's arms, and that's exactly how he planned it. The Missing Girls uh, by Linda O'Neill, Philip Tennyson, and Rick Watson, a shocking true story of abduction and murder. And then this one I'm going to read uh, probably soon because I'm, I'm really fascinated with this case. This is Picture Perfect, the Jody Arias story by Shannon Hogan. What a nutcase she is, let me tell you. I don't have anything else, do I? Oh, a good neck crack. Bye-bye.